How to get started with your iPod. Hello and welcome to Video Jam. Congratulations, you've just purchased the world's most popular portable music and video player. Here's how to get started. Step 1. Unwrap. Inside your box you will have an iPod, an iPod to USB cable, a dock adapter for use with a universal dock, a CD containing the iPod and iTunes software, earphones with earphone covers, and a case. To set up your iPod you'll also need a computer. If you have a Mac it must run on OS X version 10.3.9 or later. If you have a PC it must be running on Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 or Windows XP Service Pack 2 or later versions of Windows. Step 2. Charge the iPod. Before you do anything you must charge the iPod battery. This is done by connecting it to a computer. Turn the computer on and then plug the smaller end of the cable, which is the USB connector, into the USB port on the computer. This can be identified by the USB logo. Plug the other end of the cable, which is called the dock connector, into the base of your iPod. The message do not disconnect will appear on your iPod screen. In the top right hand corner the battery symbol will feature a lightning strike, denoting that it's charging. Leave for three hours to completely charge. The battery symbol will be completely green and feature a plug when it is ready. Step 3. Install the software. Insert the CD into the computer. Follow on-screen instructions and prompts to install, just as you usually would when installing software from a CD. Step 4. Personalise. Once the software is installed, an iPod Setup Assistant window will open. This will give you the chance to name your iPod. Call it whatever you want. Most people will name it after themselves. The window will also give you the opportunity of automatically updating your iPod each time it's plugged in. Read carefully and check the boxes as you feel appropriate. Then follow the on-screen instructions to register your iPod. Step 5. Get downloading. Your iPod and iTunes are ready for action. We have a series of other video jugs about iPods. So decide what you want to do and take your pick. Choose from how to get music on your iPod from CDs, how to get music onto your iPod from the internet, how to get podcasts on your iPod, how to use your iPod as a hard drive for Mac computers, how to use your iPod as a hard drive for PCs, how to get video onto your iPod, and how to get photos onto your iPod.